All right. Uh, my name is Benjamin Swanbrook, and for my Firms of Endearment presentation for MBA 536, I'm going to be doing Wegmans Food Markets. Now, just a quick introduction. Um, I will be discussing some of the main characteristics of Wegmans Food Markets and how they relate to topics that we have learned and discussed over the past seven weeks. And I'll also be discussing why Wegmans is actually considered a firm of endearment. Now, real quick, uh, what exactly is a firm of endearment? Well, a firm of endearment is a company that endears itself to its stakeholders by bringing the interests of all stakeholder groups into strategic alignment. In other words, a firm of endearment is a specific company that reaches out to those beyond the people that actually run the business, such as investors, suppliers, and even long-term customers. Firms of endearment like to take care of all the people that contribute to their success. Now, something else that I found pretty interesting and actually unique to firms of endearment is the fact that they strive for a share of heart. In other words, firms of endearment strive to find a place in the heart of the customer so that in turn, the customer is more willing to open their wallet. This is going to generate more financial success to the firm. Another important characteristic of a firm of endearment is proper treatment of the employee. Now this is, this is so important to treat the employee as you'd like to be treated and go above and beyond for them as a manager because they're the ones that are ultimately running the company. They're doing the everyday groundwork. And we're going to be talking about this topic of employees very soon. Now, just a quick overview of, of Wegmans. What is Wegmans? Um, I'm sure you all heard it before. Wegmans is a regional supermarket chain with about 89 stores, 46 in New York, 17 in Pennsylvania, 7 in New Jersey, 8 in Virginia, 7 in Maryland, and 4 in Massachusetts. Wegmans has currently around 46,000 employees working for them and their annual sales in 2015 was around $7.9 billion. Wegman was actually recently placed 33rd on the 2015 supermarket news list of the top 75 supermarkets based on sales volume. Now, the Wegmans is a, or Wegmans is a family owned company that was founded in 1916. The CEO is Danny Wegman, and they are headquartered in Rochester, New York. Colleen Wegman, Danny's daughter, is currently the president of the company, while his other, while his other daughter, Nicole Wegman, is the senior vice president. Danny's father, Robert, was a chairman of the company until his death in April 2006. Now, on uh, Wegman's website, they actually provide a set of values that they follow, and they go by this. Number one, we care about the well-being and success of every person. Number two, high standards are a way of life. We pursue excellence in everything that we do. Number three, we make a difference in every community that we serve. Number four, we respect and listen to our people. And number five, we empower our people to make decisions that improve their work and benefit our customers and our company. Now, what does Wegmans actually believe in? They claim that good people working towards a common goal can accomplish anything that they set out to do. They set their goal to be the very, very best at serving the needs of their customers. Every action they take should be made with this in mind, according to Wegmans. Now, they also believe that they can achieve their goal only if they fulfill the needs of their own, which is very, very important. Um, real quick, lastly, I just want to go over Wegmans' mission statement, um, and it goes as follows. At Wegmans, 
We are aware that the ever-growing environmental concerns facing us today will have profound effects on the lives of our children and grandchildren. There are no simple solutions to these challenges. Still, we all have a responsibility to be aware and to be accountable. We promise to take the steps to protect our world for future generations. It's part of our commitment to make a difference in every community that we serve. Join us on this journey as our company learns new ways to reduce, reuse, and recycle our resources. We'll share our discoveries with you. Taking steps, even little steps, together we can make a difference. Now, I uh, recently found a, an online uh, newspaper article titled Wegmans, Whole Foods Among the World's Most Ethical Companies. Now, according to the article, in 2010, Wegmans food markets, along with Whole Foods, were both chosen as two of the world's most ethical companies. Now, the annual list spotlights businesses that implement practices and initiatives that are instrumental to their success helping their surrounding communities, and encourages others within the industry to adopt higher ethical standards. Now, this clearly shows that Wegmans you know, have followed their mission and their beliefs that they provide on the website year in and year out. They're, they're following what they say they do. Um, they're putting the customer first and the employee first, making sure that they're putting the most important things at the highest level. And making them top priority. We actually see this concept in the seven habits of highly effective people provided by Dr. Kenyatta during the during the uh, course of this uh, class. Um, actually, the third habit provided states that you should put first things first, focus on your highest priorities, and eliminate the unimportant. This is why Wegmans is so effective in what they do. Clearly, Wegmans is a successful business because they follow these guidelines. They, they know what's important, and they know what's going to make them successful, so they stick to it. Um, now, I, I found another article from uh, The Atlantic titled, The Anti-Walmart, The Secret Sauce of Wegmans is People. Now, the beginning of the article states that Wegmans cashiers are barred from interacting with customers until they have completed 40 hours of training while hundreds of staffers are actually sent on trips around the U.S. and even around the world to become experts on their products. The company also does not have a mandatory retirement age and has never laid off any employees, which is very, very impressive. And something really cool that I actually learned about Wegmans reading through some of these articles that I never knew is that all profits are actually reinvested in the company or shared with the employees. I mean, that's what I call taking care of what, you know, what is yours. Now, in uh, Management Ethics um, by Dominic Mel, uh, we learn about the centrality of the person in management. And I think this has a direct relation of um, what we're seeing here with Wegmans. Um, the author, Dominic Mel, states that the level of concern for people's interests expresses acting toward people not only with recognition and respect, but for also showing concern for their interests and compassion for their problems. Now, in other words, in order to manage people successfully, you kind of have to go on to a different level with them. You need to be, you know, you need to be concerned with their interests and what they want to do in their life. And you have to be for them always. It's 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 like family. You have to treat them like family. Now, the article from the Atlantic includes a quote from Kevin Stickles, the company's vice president for human resources. He states that our employees are the number one asset, period. And that the first question he always asks is what, what's best for the employee? This is, this is such an efficient way for managing employees. I don't know why someone would ever want to leave this business with this kind of treatment that they're given. I mean, it's, 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 just, it's absolutely amazing. Now, how is Wegmans able to be so closely invested in their employees? Um, executives say that the company is able to invest its, in its employees and focus on steady strategic growth is because they're not publicly traded. You know, when involved in the public trade, 
the first thing that comes to mind is the quarter and cutting jobs, according to Stickles. Now, interestingly, uh, Mary Ellen Burris, who's a 78-year-old senior vice president of Wegmans, claims that they refuse to open more than three stores per year because they're afraid that the quality will dwindle if they up the pace too fast and that it takes away from the ability to focus on the people and on the customers. Um, okay, now that I've discussed you know, some of Wegmans' dedication to its employees and how they treat them, I just want to make some quick connections to the uh, topic for Chapter 4 of Firms of Endearment. Now, Chapter 4 actually begins with an example from, of Wegmans Food Markets, stating that Wegmans has been named a Fortune's 100 Best Places to Work 16 years in a row, as well as being number one in 2004. The offers of Firms of Endearment state that many Firm of Endearments, like Wegmans, know that higher wages and benefits can actually lower employee costs, which is pretty interesting. Now, much like the, the articles that I've read, Firms of Endearment claims that Wegmans is not unique in believing that if it takes care of its employees, it, its employees will better serve customers. What is unique is how Wegmans delivers on that belief. They pay wages way above the industry average, and it offers affordable health insurance to employees, along with a 401k plan under which the company matches employee contributions at 50 cents to the dollar up to available tax limits. Now, what, why is Wegmans considered a firm of endearment? Wegmans is a firm of endearment because they put great faith and love into their employees. Every employee has wide latitude to do whatever is necessary to ensure that a customer leaves a store fully satisfied without needing to consult a manager. Wegmans is able to take their employees, train them in the right way, and put 100% trust in them to interact with customers to make sure that they come back every single time which is why Wegmans is worth over $6 billion. They have loyal customers. Customers view Wegmans as their store. You know, when they go out and go to the grocery store, you know, they go to Wegmans every single time. Like, it's theirs. It's like home to them. They'll never go anywhere else. Wegmans is also almost always promotes from within, with many managers starting as regular employees in their teen years. The company primarily uses exceptional employees from existing stores to staff new ones and trains all employees extensively before opening a new store. The company even spent about $5 million just to train employees when they opened up a new store in Dulles, Virginia, which shows how much money and effort they really, really do put in to make sure the employees make a lasting impression on the customers. Um, now, that's my presentation. Um, you know, I learned a lot in this class over the past seven weeks. Uh, I, I definitely learned a lot more about Wegmans than I knew before during this uh, research project. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, thank you for listening, uh, and I appreciate it.